much for joining me for story time today. We have story times posted on the library's Facebook page every Monday and Wednesday morning at 10.30 a.m. You can also find these videos on the library's website, which is www.finleylibrary.org. There you will find a virtual story time page located under the kids drop down menu. Today for story time, we are going to be talking about the mail. We're going to talk about a uh, postman and what their jobs are, um, how the mail comes to us, and just having a lot of fun talking about different writing activities. So let's go ahead and get started. The mail carrier song is a simple look at what it is that a mail carrier does in terms that are easy to understand. We are going to sing this song twice the first time so that you can learn how it goes and the second time so you guys can join in with me. It goes like this. Write, write, write your cards and lots of letters too. I will bring them to your friends and maybe they'll write back soon. Think you got it? Sing it with me this time. Write, write, write your cards and lots of letters too. I will bring them to your friends and maybe they'll write back soon. Good job, guys. So for our talk about activity today, we are going to discuss uh, what we need in order to send a letter in the mail. So this is my little uh, pretend envelope that I have for you guys. Uh, the first thing that you need when you're going to send a letter to someone is you need to put their name and then their address on it. And that goes in the big part, either in the center or over here to the side. You need it to go over here. That is the person that you are sending the letter to. But then your name and address also need to go on here. But they go up in the top corner. So your name and address, just in case your letter uh, doesn't make it to the person that you're sending it to, so it will come back to you so you can try again. And then the last thing that you need to send a letter in the mail is a stamp, and it goes in the other quarter opposite from where your name and address goes. So then, once all of that is on your envelope, it is ready to go in the mail, and hopefully you have a letter or a card inside all ready to go to your friends or a grandparent, whoever it is special that you are sending a letter to. And it is all ready to go out in the mail. So for our next activity, I'd like to start with you guys helping me count the letters that I got in the mail today. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got six letters in the mail. Let's see who they're from. Six little letters were sent to my house. The first one said, let's see. I love you from, who's this? Mouse. Five little letters in my mailbox. The second one said, let's see, be mine, love, who's this, box. Four little letters full of love. The third one said, let's see, you are sweet, love, you know who that is, dove. Three little letters just for me. The fourth one said, let's see. Be my honey, love. Who's that? Be. Two little letters mailed with care. The fifth one said, let's see. Here's a hug, love. Who's this? Bear. The last little letter is from my friend Jay. And this one says, oh, 
have a happy day. So the at home activity suggestion that I have for you guys is to get some writing practice in by writing a letter to someone or if you're in the pre-writing stage, uh, make drawing pictures is a really good uh, way to get ready for those writing skills later. You can write a letter, write a story, um, draw a picture, make a card, uh, and then pick someone special to mail it to or, you know, do, do more than one, but uh, that's just a really good way to practice writing and then to talk some more about uh, the whole mail process that we have shared in our video today. So I hope you have fun and I can't wait to see uh, what letters or cards you make this week. Our final activity that we're going to do together today is a finger play called Letter Letter goes like this. Letter, letter, how many do you see? Letter, letter, count them with me. One for dad, one for mom, one for grandma too. One for brother, one for sister, and here is one for you. Let's say it again together this time. Letter, letter, how many do you see? Letter, letter, count them with me. One for dad, one for mom, one for grandma too. One for brother, one for sister, and here is one for you. Alright guys, that is going to be it for story time today. Remember that there are lots of other great activities to do for the mail, so check out our Storytime Bookshelf for book suggestions or contact the library or come visit us if you would like more recommendations for books about the mail or some other topic. You can also check the library's website. Our virtual storytime page has handouts and other fun storytime content for you guys to work on at home. I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day.